We all love our pets and treat them like a baby. The furry and four-legged beings are a part of our family, and they are the ones who deserve our unconditional love. And when you own a pet who's a dog, their loyalty and dedication towards you is something that has no comparison. They are the beings who can portray the best of their selves and reciprocate all your affection and care as you. But imagine what happens if you get to know that your family dogs disappear with your baby. You have no clue about the whereabouts of your baby and your world stands still. But why would the dogs run away with a human baby? Read in here to find this little different tale. It's a really strange incident that you would ever come across. The pet you have been taking care of for so long suddenly elopes with your child. The parents were freaked and went clueless about their baby. And when they realized that it was their pooch who took the baby away, they were petrified. Colby and Blue were the two golden retrievers that the Cardinals had. They loved roaming with their human family. Colby and Blue would wait for Chris to return from work and play with them. They would daily stand at the door and as soon as they would find Chris approaching, they would wag their tails. Colby and Blue were only six months old when the Cardinals adopted them. Since then, they had been living with them. As years passed, their connection and bond with the family grew strong. That's why when years later, these dogs were found guilty of disappearing with Chris's baby, he couldn't believe it. When Chris found the love of her life and decided to settle in life, he always wondered how would her partner react to him owning two golden retrievers. Luckily, his wife was herself fond of dogs and they both wanted to have their own family where their babies were not human but dogs. That sounds crazy. Chris and his wife shared the same fondness toward pets and their lives were going all great until the day his wife found that she was expecting a child. The duo was more than happy with their family consisting of two dogs, but after coming across this exciting news, their happiness knew no boundaries. However, soon their lives turned upside down. Chris and his soulmate weren't sure how would things go around in the family when their baby would be born. Probably for a few months, Colby and Blue had to be kept away from the newborn. But the way in which things unfolded was something that neither of them had expected. It was really surprising and strange. Cardinals were blessed with a baby girl. They named her Chloe. She was a cute little girl with the sweetest smile. For a few months, the couple managed to keep Colby and Blue away from her. But when the dogs saw the new member of their family, their actions were astonishing. It wasn't anticipated that Colby and Blue would be cheered by Chloe's presence. But the dogs were overwhelmed to have a new member in their family. To them, she was no less than a younger sibling sister. However, who would have thought back then that these two dogs would disappear with her? Chloe, Colby, and Blue became the three musketeers of the Cardinal family. All three of them would be found together playing and cuddling together. The dogs cared for the younger sibling like two elder brothers. They were protective of her. What happened next was quite not so usual. Chris told in an interview that Colby was immediate. This is my person, Blue took some warming up. The dogs developed an instant connect with the baby girl and as she grew older, her parents realized that the girl was also mischievous when with these dogs. Colby and Blue were more connected to Chloe because of her giving nature. She would often turn up around their cage and kennel and give them whatever she could get hold of. She often would put her toys near them. But the dogs noticed that she isn't that stingy as other members of the family. What did it mean? Colby and Blue would often sit under Chloe's baby chair whenever she would sit in there for her meals. And the cute baby more than happily threw all her food to her loving doggos and see them eating. Then what made the dogs elope with the baby? One night while having meal Chloe again threw some parts of her food to the dogs. And they had it all as always but they kept on looking at Chloe. Maybe they wanted some more food or anything. When Chloe was put off the chair and she reaches to Colby and stood there still, it was probably that the dogs were tired of waiting for the baby to feed them some treats, and they were smelling and snuffing around their dog dish. Chloe was too young to understand what was happening. However, even the Cardinals would not have hoped to witness something like that next morning. Chris would not have imagined that the trio that had been so much in love would suddenly go missing one day. That morning when they did not find Chloe in her bed, they were frightened. The dogs weren't there and nor was Chloe. What had happened? 
Chloe's mother was recalling that the last night after the baby girl slept she had herself locked the door, and there were no possibilities that Chloe could unlock the door and leave. And then where did the baby go? Cardinals were extremely scared to not find their baby girl. She was so young and not finding her around was a reason to worry. How could a little girl who was barely two years old go out? That's when they decided to use the CCTV footage and see what happened the last night. And, and when they sat down to investigate the camera footage they did not anticipate something like that. They could not believe what they just saw. The two golden retrievers were helping the little girl to get out of the bed and that too at a very early hour in the morning. None could wrap their head around what was happening. Chris was very confident that the dogs were very lovable towards Chloe and could not harm her in any way. There must have been some reason behind their doing so. And the very first possibility that cooked in Chris' head was that maybe the dogs did it all for food. Did they? Chris recalled that the dogs often get hungry in the early hours, and he said, they definitely knew what they were doing. They start getting really hungry around 6 a.m., and instead of barking outside our room, I think they figured they'd try the baby. What they saw next cleared their thoughts. Chris recalled that when Chloe was only a year old and could not even walk, the dogs showed up outside her room at 5 a.m. in the morning for food, but it was of no help. And now that the baby had already been treating them, the dogs knew where to go. Cardinals were shocked to see that the dogs played their part well. Chloe did it even beautifully. The girl was awake at that odd hour and was more excited than Colby and Blue to rush outside the room. It was as if the trio were on a mission prison break. After witnessing all this, it was quite evident where would Chloe, Colby, and Blue be. Chris and his wife rushed to the kitchen corner and what they saw next melted their heart. The baby girl and her loving elder siblings were right there sobbing amidst the tons of snacks. Chris had his breath back after finding the missing trio in the kitchen. He was so scared thinking of all the weird thoughts that were coming to him since the moment they all disappeared. And witnessing them like that made him laugh hard. The little girl did not mind waking up early in the morning just to feed the dogs. She was truly following the saying sharing is caring. She loved the pets so much that she did not mind having some mischief with them. Chris recalled that before Chloe was born, he was busy solving the mess created by the double trouble Colby and Blue. However, he had never thought that his daughter would join their company and would invite a triple trouble. They always land in silly situations and leave him ashamed. The Cardinals knew what a crazy and deadly combination is of these three beings. They are always up to something naughty, but still, Chris would always let go of things laughing. To him, they are his heart and soul and his entire world. Chloe has a morning ritual and even her parents have to follow that. Every morning, it is Colby and Blue who wakes her up and not her parents. Isn't it so crazy for a little girl having a morning like that? And this is not all, the dogs teach her something crazy. Chris tells everyone they teach her how to be gentle with animals, socialization, etc. And also how to get back up when they knock her over, which happens to be from time to time. The trio has made a world and language of their own. But as one says, everything is well that ends well. Chris and his wife are happy that no matter how mischievous their pet and daughter are, as long as they are together, they are all a happy family. They have always loved dogs, but their daughter is the next level in love.